collision. Here we are given a ball that is colliding the smooth plane at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal. The ball is moving at 10 meters per second towards the plane at that particular angle 60 degree to the horizontal. And then the uh, coefficient of restitution is given as 1 over 3. After the collision, the ball bounces off the surface uh, at an angle beta to the horizontal, uh, moving at the speed of v. So the speed of v is the one that we need to find out, and then uh, at which angle it will rebound from the surface. Now before we do that, we are going to label the uh, y and x component for the velocity after uh, collision. So here we will label another one here as uh, Vx. Okay, just let me clean that up a bit. <coughs> Alright. Now by using Newton Restitution's law, we can work out the speed and the angle at which it rebounds after the collisions. Okay. Now we know that uh, due to a smooth plane, therefore there will not be any change to the x component of the velocity after the collision. So the x component of the velocity will remain the same as uh, u cosine 60. And then in this case, uh, u is 10 uh, cosine 60. If you press your calculator, you should get yourself uh, 5 meter per second because cos 60 is uh, 0.5. And then for vertical component of the velocity after collision, yes, there will be a change due to the uh, coefficient of restitution. And then Vy is given as u sine 60 multiplied by e here. So from here, we get our serve uh, sine 60 is 3 over 2, it's 1 over 3, and we get our serve as 5 is 3 meter per second. <coughs> now once we have obtained this uh, velocity component in the x direction and in the y direction, now i like to clarify here, I did not use uh, the negative sign or positive sign. I'm just interested in the magnitude at this point. But if you uh, if you are interested to include a positive sign and negative sign, uh, by all means, you can go ahead. Okay? Because velocity is a vector quantity. Okay, by using Pythagoras theorem, we can find the speed of the ball after collision, which is given by this. Alright, now let's try to complete this calculation here. Let me see whether I got that uh, correct this time. Uh, 5 to 10, alright, so that will be a 10. And then I will have um, square root of 3. Okay, now that, um, oh, okay, sorry, that is wrong. That's supposed to be uh, 100 over a tree yeah, 40 40 25 yes correct so it's 100 over 3 therefore the speed of the collisions would be 10 over square root of 3 meter per second now in order to determine the directions where it rebounds so with respect to the horizontal uh, plane uh, we can apply the geometrical property by taking tangent beta as Vy divided by Vx. So Vy is 5 over 3 over Vx, which is 5. So we end up with uh, 1 over 3. And then uh, by using calculator, you will find that this is actually 30 degree. All right. So therefore, we can conclude that the ball would rebound at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal with a speed of 10 over 3 meter per second.